Hello everyone. In this video, we will be looking for the next part of page setup that is columns. You can create multiple columns within your Word document. Breaks that is you can break the pages. Line number and hyphenation. Let's see them one by one. Let's see first column. How to create columns in Word document. If you see, I have written some text over here. That's very small text and cover left hand side space. You can see. Now see, the right hand side space is wasted. I can also utilize this right hand space by creating more columns in the same word document. How do I create it? Let's see. Just keep the cursor where I want to create the column. That is in the beginning. Then from the home, from the layout tab, I have to just select the column option. And from this column option, I can select either two column option or three column. And we have many more options. For this time, I'm going to select two column option. Now see. It has created two columns within the same word document. So in this way, I can utilize the right hand space also. Suppose I want to check the print preview option. So I'm going to press control P from my keyboard. Now you can see the print preview option. This is also used for printing control P. Now see how my page look like after printing. It will take less pages for printout. Now suppose I want to create more columns. So similarly I can create that. Suppose I'm going to select this option three column. Now it has created three columns. So in this way we can create one column, two column and so on. So the next one we have page breaks. For page breaks, I need to write some text in my word document. In MS Word, we have a function to create random text. That is just press equal to RAND for random text. Uh, round bracket start two comma two and just close the bracket. It means I want to create two paragraph and each paragraph should contain two sentences. Now just press enter. You can see on the screen we have two random paragraphs and each paragraph contain two sentences, complete sentences. What exactly the page break is? Suppose I want the upper text that is these are four lines on one page and the remaining text on another page. So I need to just break the page from here. So I will keep my cursor here from where I want to break the page. After that, I have to just choose this breaks option from the layout tab and click on this option that is pages. Now you can see my text shifted to another page. Suppose I'm going to press control Z that is shortcut key for undo. We have one another method that is control enter. Suppose I, I want to break page and I want to use the shortcut key control plus enter. I just want to keep my cursor in the beginning and just press control plus enter from my keyboard. Now see again my text shifted to another page. We have some more features in page break option that is columns page break but for columns you can break a column and shift your data 
from one column to another column but before that we should have some columns suppose uh, i have some data and just uh, i create two columns here now you can see my data shifted in two columns instead of one column suppose i want to break data from here that is from day 3 i want to shift this data in another column so i will keep my cursor in the beginning and i will select now page break for columns now you can see day 3 went from here and it has been come here in the second column so in this way we can break page or column next i have line number if i want to give line number to my pages i can give it line by line i'll get a number click on the line numbers option now see what happened if i'll choose this option that is continuous it will give a line number to each line now see first line starts with number 1 and it ends with number 6 now come to page number 2 page 2 starts with line number 7 and it ends with line number 17 again see the third page it starts with page number uh, line number 18 so it is continuous line number suppose i want to give a new line number to each page for that i have to select this option that is restart each page now see what happened my first page starts with line number 1 and ends with line number 6 from page uh, number 2 you can see it starts with line 1 and ends with line 11 third page starts again with line number 1 and ends with uh, whatever the last line is so in this way i can give a line number continuous line number or a new line number you can also use the line number for each section also and last is hyphenation i have written some sample of text you can see now you can see there is a lots of space available after one line word what i want i want a text to be here whatever it will fit here that is nothing but hyphenation now for this option i just have to click on this hyphenation option and just select automatic when i'll select this automatic option the word product will come here whatever it will fit here now see i'm going to press this automatic option now see the product word p r o d hyphenation and it will continue in the next line now you can see this word also produced p r o hyphenation and continue in the next line so in this way we can use hyphenation that's it for this video